What up, y'all? Welcome back to another Arena Cube. We're gonna do the QB things. 100's over there snoozing. All right, let's do it. Let's take the biggest, baddest threats we can we can take here, which is Elder Gargroth. Raska's contempt is sweet. I think we're just taking the Elder Gargroth. Guys, I'm gonna tell you something. I love an Elder Gargroth. I also have a 2-2 two, two for 2 that, based on our deck strategy, is going to get bigger. It also happens to be the only green card in the pack, but that's good, because now we can cut off all the other green drafters. Can you hook both up and switch back and forth? Actually, I think I can. Okay, this is the new mic. Uh, talking into the new mic right now. And this is the uh, focus right. This is the or not focus right. This is the um, the old Shure SM7B that I typically use. Uh, that is not this one. So or not the new one rather. I don't know what I'm saying. Look, I'm trying to just make up some things. Now I'm gonna switch back to the new mic. Now I'm on the new mic. So uh, I don't know. I, I imagine they sound pretty similar unless you have a uh, unless you're an audiophile or you have a high <laughs> like a really high. Uh, quality uh, audio source old mic is louder and therefore better uh i also have the settings i mean i can just raise the gain on this one that's not a that's not an issue oh all right if it is a little lower then i'm just going to raise the mic gain on this one to 33 it was at 30 so this should be a little bit louder but um now i'm still I mean, this is still the the new one and this is the old one and like that's just a gain issue like that's not really an issue of the mics per se we're waiting on these other players to pass a draft pack for <gasps> the great hinge is like the best payoff you can ask for um i'm gonna switch back to the new mic now now we're on the new mic again and i'm taking this great hinge so but the point is like the new mic is 250 and the sm7b's that i've been using are 400 so i could literally sell one of the old mics and pay for both of the new ones so, uh, interesting. Interesting you say it sounds less boomy. I think that's, uh, interesting. I can't tell, well, if you, I mean, like, the thing is, if you can't tell the difference or if it's not impacting me negatively, then I feel like the change, the switch is something I should do. Um, yeah. What are we taking here? This is this is where we'd have to decide our second color, unfortunately. I kind of like Tristani. Does the new mic go up to eleven? No, but the old one doesn't either. So you know, it's uh, it's a non-issue really. Well, you notice the difference, but like, I mean, is it a? I mean, is it? I mean, that could also just mean like you notice noticing a difference isn't necessarily bad or good. I kind of like Glorybringer here. Do you have any giants? That's a beast. That's an insect. I got the beast in. I kind of like Glorybringer, I'm going to be honest. Icy Manipulator is also just fine. I don't really feel like committing to a second color here, I'll be honest. I mean, Tristani's fine. I don't love it, but whatever. I'll take it. Uh, Inscription of Abundance is pretty sweet. Let's try that. All right, I'm going to switch back to the old mic so you guys can hear that for a little bit. All right, now we're on the old mic again. So, um, yeah, I'm just taking inscription here. So you put two counters on a creature, you can fight a creature, or you gain X. Yeah, it's just versatile. It's, it's, one of the, it's the only instant of the three, so that's pretty good.
And, uh, yeah, you can uh, listen to the old Glory Bringer. <laughs> That's like three pecks ago. The old mic seems loud. I mean, like, yes, but, okay, well, I, mm, I'm i not sure about the tinny quality. Listen, I'm going to stand up for the Shure SM7B uh, quite staunchly. Because it's a, it's an, it's, it's, it's just a great mic. Like, it's, it's a, but the, the, the about the, the louder thing, yeah, I do have the gain up higher on this mic, so. I can also put the compressor higher on the other mic. I'm going to take, let's take Wolf Willow Haven. It's actually pretty good for our, our ramp. We want to be able to play Gargaroth quicker. So let me let me know how this sounds. I'm gonna put the compressor on the new mic up to heavy. It was on medium previously, so this actually should raise the volume and make it a little deeper. Let, let me know what you think here. Now I'm now we're using the new mic with the the heavy compression on. Um, if one or more counters would be placed twice that many counters, I'm gonna take. I like this. Is this good? Really? That's interesting. I might want to lower the. Um, the gain a little bit because this does increase the volume a little bit. Um, resilient Kenra. When it enters the battlefield, you may have target creature get plus X plus X, where X is resilient Kenra's power. Or we can take Fiend Artisan. I kind of like Fiend Artisan actually. Yeah, so again, this is the new mic with the heavy compression on, so uh, not sure if that's better than the old mic, worse than the old mic. And also, I'm not sure how many Magic streamers are going to have a, uh, a mic comparison between two very pricey mics that they are just unsure of which one to use. But here we are, so. Um, actually, Basri's Lieutenant's pretty sweet here. Also, it's a good counter card. Okay. If one or more gone, so this just puts twice as many counters on things. So twice as many counters here, twice as many counters with uh, Great Henge. First World Mike problems is right. Oh, for two counters here, two counters with Ascription. Ascription. It's getting dark out and it's only five o'clock. Jesus, why is it so early? Alright. Loyal Pegasus. This is really the only card we can even consider taking. Agonizing Remorse is fine in case we don't end up being white. We only have two white cards. But we do have Fiend Artisan. Eh, Wilt is fine. Harmonious Archon is okay. Life Crafter's Bestiary is actually pretty sweet. Destroy an Artifact or an Enchantment. And we don't have anything like that yet. So I'll probably just take the Wilt. I think it's a fine sideboard card. Let's go back to the original mic, the, the OG, and we'll see if that is uh, any better. Just trying to get your ears accustomed to it. Maybe, let's, the, maybe the switching will... Uh... This guy escapes with six counters if we have evolution. Oh. Angurus is awesome. So. Now we're, now we're playing with power. Look at that beautiful, handsome wolf. Look at that guy. He's so proud of himself. Uh, Demonic Pact? You know what? Maybe. I mean, we have Gem Razor and Wilt. Those are reliable ways to kill a Demonic Pact, right? Oh my god. Last pick, Conclave Mentor. I literally wanted to take this over the Branching Evolution. Oh, now we're just definitely taking Vivian Arcbow Ranger. We're just playing Counters dot deck right now, and it's gonna it's and it's looking great. I've survived an apocalypse. I will survive you. Same. I've also survived an apocalypse. Gem Razor's only opponent stuff. <sighs> Whatever, doesn't matter. We're not playing it anyway. Um. I mean, it's just Vastwood Surge. There's nothing in this pack that's even close to good for us, unfortunately. We could take Stone Stomping Ground and hope for, like, a, a blue... A 
you know, to be able to splash red stuff, but... Guys, I'm switching between mics here, and I can't help but notice you guys haven't given me any mic feedback, and it's providing me a lot of anxiety, personally, the, the situation, not your not your lack of, of feedback. So I just want to make sure I'm making the right choice. I just don't want to make... I just want to make the wrong choice. I'm going to take... Oh, God. Oh, my God. I didn't know what happened there. I don't want to make the wrong choice and be like, oh, oh, fucking questing beast. That guy just kills. I'm going to finish this sentence eventually as well. I don't want to make the wrong choice and then, you know, have like, I'm going to sell my original mics and be like, oh, no, it's too late. And you guys are going to be like, this sounds terrible. So this is this is the the SM7B. This is the original mic I had, the one I've been using for for like years. And uh, this is the new mic, also made by Shure, the same company. So it may help if you sing a tune on each mic, singing a tune on the new mic now. And now we're singing into the old mic, two tunes and two mics. And now we're back on the new one again. So I don't know if that was helpful or not, to be honest with you. Does any of these do any of these give counters? Empire's perfect is good. Kazandu Mammoth is good. You guys are like, oh my god, he actually sang a tune. I, you guys being able to not really tell the difference is actually very helpful. That that does that does help me. Don't get me wrong. I switched to my headphones. Do it again. I'm just going to talk. I'm not going to sing again. I'm going to take Sovereign. This card just nugs things from space. Oh, Voracious Hydra with the double counter card? Oh, yeah. Also, Loxodon. But Loxodon comes back. Nobody wants this. Kerwit. This is the new mic. Kerwit. And we're going back to the old mic now. Now we're on the old mic. Do, 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 do. How many, do we have enough counters? Do we have enough token creatures to make uh, Divine Visitation work? This is old mic again. And now we're going back to the new one. And now we're on the new mic. What a time to be alive. We really don't. <sighs> Maybe it's just Pelt Collector. I don't love Pelt Collector, but the problem with Pelt Collector getting counters is that it doubles them once, and then you'll probably never have a creature bigger than this guy. I kind of just want to hedge and take Divine Visitation. Oh, Hornet Queen? That makes that makes angels with a divine visitation. Oh man. See, here's the thing. This cube is not the most powerful cube, but I'm getting excited at some of the picks, man, and that's good. That's all I really want out of a cube. This is the new this is the new uh This is the new mic. I'm going to drop the 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 gain down to 30 again because they did with the do you like is the compression good on heavy? Is that okay? I kind of like Amiri's call. I think Song is good. Um, I also like Kiora, actually. I like it O heavy. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I think Amiri's call is pretty sweet, though. Song is busted. Song is good. We just don't have a lot of two drops. Like, we have, like, three two drop creatures. Okay, I guess we're taking... What did we... What the f What did we even take? Return of the Wild Speaker? Oh, God, I hate it. I ate it. Ah, I'll just take this gear guy. It could make an angel at some point in the game. Yeah, take a stomping ground. My my two picks that I really wanted were song and um. What was the other one? Uh. Was that God Pharaoh's gift? Dang it. I get it confused with the throne card, which has literal the same, like, Nicol Bolas horn art on it. Wow, Imperius Perfect? Man, that card... Oh, that also makes angels. Oh, wow, that's actually a really great pickup for the Divine Visitation. I want to put this in the sideboard for now. I hear you, Hunts. I hear you, buddy. I don't care about the chain Arachnir in the main deck. I also don't even really care about Fiend Artisan, to be honest with you. None of these are exciting. Oh, actually, we'll take the... 
the pathway because it's a second red green land. So just in case. And Pelt Collector came back. Wow, Temple of Malady? Okay. Alright, last pack, gentlemen and ladies. Ladies and gentlemen. Indotha Trium is two of our lands, and if we wanted to splash black for anything, like Demonic Pact, then we also have Temple of Malady Shut up and to do take so. My money. Oh, one Grumbly Buck. Wait, oh, because you, you heard him. Could you guys, could you guys hear him? I mean, I do like Elysian Caryatid here. I do like the Fixing Land. Escape to the Wilds? Interesting. Alright, I'm going to get rid of the old mic. And now we're just in new mic territory. Fuck, I have 10 seconds? Oh my god. I'm going to take the Fixing Land. Fuck. No, I'm taking the Caryatid. Okay. I'm okay with it. I feel okay that I did it. And that's good. I think Rishkar is pretty good here. Rishkar seems real good. I think that's Kogla. I'm going to take Rishkar over Kogla. Put a, with a, he enters with a 1 1 counter. I don't ever creature control with a 1 1 counter becomes a target of a spell. <sighs> Swarm Shambler is trash. This card is terrible. But maybe it's great in our deck. Oh yeah, Temple Garden's gonna 100% come back. I guarantee it. It's either Riss, which can make angels. I think it's Riss. Preserver was amazing in our deck. What was Preserver? I don't even know what that card is, man. Couldn't have been that good. <laughs> uh... Let's take Rex Sage. <laughs> You're gonna love the way I temp the Temple Garden. I guarantee it. Vastwood Preserver? What's that card do? I forgot what it does. Wildborn Preserve. Preserve was amazing in our deck. Oh, in our deck. I get what you're saying. I thought you meant we drafted it previously and it was really good in a deck we played already. And I was like, I don't think we ever played this card. Our deck looks sweet right now, I'm going to be honest with you. Oof. Vivian Reed. Vizier of the Menagerie. Heroic Intervention. This is what I always get it confused with. I always get God Pharaoh's Gift confuse the throne of the god pharaoh because all these cards have the stupid nickel bolus horns on them i'm just taking vivian reed she's just a banger scoot swarm and tender shoot dryad oh baby i think it's got to be Scoot scoot swarm right oh my god i mean tender shoot dryad's great but shoot swarm literally breaks the client which is not what we're trying to do Mind me, mind you. But, okay, I like Primal Might. It's a great removal spell for a, a color combination that generally doesn't have too many of them. And also Knight of Autumn is great as well. <sighs> okay, well, Knight of Autumn it is. Okay, what are we cutting from here? This puts six counters on a creature you control with the Branching Evolution. Oh man, Elvenwald Hydra came back too? Cathar's Crusade came back? Oh boy. I'm taking the Cathar's Crusade. Alright, we're taking the boat out for now. Kogla came back. 
suck on these new look the no temple garden yeah we're taking temple garden we don't need more playables root bound craggles wow our deck looks actually really sweet oh we'll take uh castle garden brig Oh, actually, put a 1-1 one -one counter on a creature. This is actually two 1-1 one -one counters. Is that good? Eh, I'll take Garenbrig. What the hell, it's a land. Eh, Platy's fine. And Fauna Shaman. Okay. Literally no other green drafters at the table. Wah-bah-bah-bah-bah-bah-bah. Tell me something good. Okay, we're gonna, we took out the boat. And now we need three cuts. That's not actually too bad. Voracious Hydra is a big boy. So we're basically tokens and counters. I think Vastwood Surge can go, and I'd probably want to cut one of the other five drops. Garenbrig isn't that good, but it's basically a free land that lets us cast Hornet Queen a turn sooner or it lets us cast voracious hydra for one more free so i really i i mean i think it's just fine like it's 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 not a it's not a banana banger by any means but hmm it's just vivian reed it doesn't seem like vivian reed oh i think it's anguirus actually because we do have vivian reed and we got night and we picked up the night of autumn so this is eight nine ten this is 17 lands This is really funny that they're giving us nine white sources and eight green sources. Like, that doesn't seem correct at all. Why don't you stop banging bananas? Got him. So, seven, eight, nine, seven, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 8, 9, 10. Yeah, this is 10, 8. That's actually really good. Did you guys tell me what cut to make? I'm going somewhere just to spite you? Wow, that's messed up. <sighs> I feel like it's either first Iroan games. However, this makes... This combos with both our creatures, our token, and our counter strategy. We could also just play 41. I think we're playing 41. 41 is a fine number. 41. Something. Oh, baby, baby. All right. Do the deed. Uh, yeah, that's a snapperino. The question is do we turn three Basri or turn two, turn four? One or more counters. Well, that's fascinating. Let's, work, let's start with this guy. If they kill this, we can still play Mentor and Risk next turn, which is fine. Into Basri's Lieutenant. Might do that anyway. Looks like they're doing what we did, only unlike our previous opponent, we don't have the answer for this. I guess we have Vivian Reed, so maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm just a liar. Wow, that's an early Golos. 
I mean, we can actually play Vivian Reed and kill it. And this adds an extra mana, so we can... Oh, boy. Let's see if you're worthy. That can't help you now. Mana Golos is a too good. That card design is a nuts, huh? Mana Golos, huh? Michael, what do we have for dinner? Got three guys. All right. That's pretty good. How much does this cost? Five. One, two, three, four, five. You can't stop nature. Oh man, Scooty Boy. I can't take Scooty Boy though. I don't think it's great here. So we got one, two, three, four, five. We have seven total mana. We can use five of it on Great Henge. And then we'll have four left over. Oh man, Mucho B changed his name. That wow, that's really that's really efficient actually. God, if we had one more mana, I think we just have to run this out, right? Like there's no world where this is not correct. Dang it, Castle Garenbrig, and we're one shy to make a make a risk token Thank too. Alright, no attacks. Matt with numbers, thank you for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. One year, dude. Really appreciate the year, my dude. Shut up and take my money. Oh, oh Mac oh Mackle donated a dollar. Murdered in my prime. <laughs> oh man. All right, well, that was pretty good, I guess. You call it that, Anki. For me, it's just another day. This guy have trample? No? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're living in a world where maybe we can go Divine Visitation, Tristani, make two angels? Okay. Sure. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter the order here. Oh, something wasn't right. Baby, baby. What is this? Okay, whenever an opponent attacks with creatures, if two or more are attacking you or a planeswalker you control, draw a card. I mean, this is fine. Like, we get rid of, like, this guy's a 5-5, five, five, even if it was free for them, you know? So this is one. Oh, no, do we have to have the mana now? One, two, three, four. Oh, we don't have the mana for both. Oh, no. Magic's hard, dude. And there's nothing I really care about destroying here. I'd much rather see if I can find something. Um, yeah, we'll take nine bottom here. So basically, we can play Divine Visitation and play Knight of Autumn or make a token with this guy. And we're also doing fine. Yeah, I'm actually gonna kill the I'm gonna kill the chromatic lantern here.
Like, it's just fixing their mana tremendously. Oh, Hornet Queen is a big bad lady. Oh, what's going on? Arctic Avenger, thank you for the gifted sub, buddy. Super Fritz 101. <laughs> oh, boy. So next turn, Hornet Queen. Oh, the angels don't have death touch, which is almost worse, ironically. Hmm. I mean, let's see if we can kill the Phylath. I doubt it, but we gotta try. Oh, they didn't have an extra land, so they just literally cycled that. That's actually great for us, wow. Don't care about that. Why don't you play that pre-combat in order to get another... What? See, so Frank, I work hard to make your stream funny, and while sandwich mining, what a hero. <laughs> oh, boy. So they don't have anything we can kill with this guy. This guy being Liliana. Or Vivian. That would break I'll get it right. Like um... Rishkar seems pretty okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can go Hornet Queen. Hmm. So one, two, three, four, and then we have one, two, three, four. Actually, I think we can do it all. I want it all. And I want it now. I think these six angels are going to kill you even if you get to draw a card. Yeah, Michael's downstairs getting paid to getting paid to watch Twitch right now. Well, that's pretty good, I guess. It's not great though. Like we get to Vivian one of the one of the bees. <laughs> it, boys. Oh, the old post Hornet Queen out of out of mana with Domri. A classic. All right, well. We can kill this this bad, Larry. And then we can attack with six. They'll block with four. They take eight. They take 12. Do we have a way to deal with one more? Let's try to draw. Oh, these are fives. Target up to two creatures. Mm, that's that'll do, pig. No one said restoration was painless. All right, one, two, three. Target, target a creature to put two counters on. This one. Target a player, myself. Target a creature you control that's going to be doing some fighting. This guy and this guy. Yep. They have no mana, so they're basically dead here, right? Oh, yeah. Draw all them cards, man. Fill your hand. Oh, we attacked with the stupid wrist, too. That was an accident. And the Tristani. Oh, man. I got so greedy that I was just like, attack with everybody. I don't even care. It doesn't matter. 
they don't have first strike. If they had first strike, then we'd have an issue, but. Cause Michael B is downstairs. He's doing work on computers. Do, 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 do. Okay. Well, we saw Chromatic Lantern, which is very, very important. We also saw Golos, so I think we're bringing in Rexage. We can take out first games of Iroas. Kogla also seems like a pretty sweet card. So we can take out... I don't know, Swarm Shambler, maybe? It's like mash, but you give cut. Yeah, that was amazing, actually. Oh man! <laughs> wow, fantastic. Boy, this is really uh. Uh, what what is this? this is the most annoying feature on arena right like just waiting for people uh two drop you know what this hand is not exciting but it's got all the mana we got a playable We'll give it a go. Michael's getting real aggressive. Cause Michael B's aggressive. He thinks that he's progressive. Are they gonna do regular vintage cube soon? Yes, next week. Should start on the 23rd. Thank you. Aggressive Mike. Oh man. Wow. Thanks, Arctic Avenger. Always keeping the people who are not even real in, uh, in, in you know, in support. Did they grow spiral and then not hit a third land and then not have a third land now? I think they're actually raging right now. Yep, there's a rage in their heart. A 
Okay, they're just gonna time out everything. Good games. Good times. Everything is all right. Good times. Well, that was a hard fought game one, round one. The steak and cheese is what I prefer from the sub of the ways. It's only spells, not abilities? That's stupid. That's dumb. How big is Voracious Hydra next turn? Enters with twice as many counters, plus one. Big enough, I guess. So if we draw land, we can go Voracious Hydra into their biggest thing next turn. Vivian Reed, kill this. I think we got to be big enough to kill a Machaeus, right? Also, that makes our Great Henge real good. <laughs> wow, that was the end? Oh, man. Glass Casket already just already putting Rex Sage in here. And Kogla. Both of those cards are just good, man. I feel like Cathar's Crusade might be overkill, and we'll take out the first games again. Wow, this hand is great. No white sources, but no white cards either. So what's the problem? What what problem is? You know what I'm saying? I think I just want to put a counter on this guy. That seems infinitely better than attacking for one, right? Because next time we get to attack for two. Collected company? He's just going to keep that on top, I bet. 
No. Oh, they left that glass casket on top. Oh, uh, I'm gonna say no attacks. I mean, if they glass casket this guy, that's fine. If they glass casket Rich, like, they're both leaving an, they're leaving an ability on the board no matter what they play here. Sure. So now I still have, like, five mana next turn. But I think we're just gonna play Vivian and kill this guy. Because it leaves him with nothing on the board, so. I love everything from deer to dinosaurs. aim and their claws you're done oh next time we can go horn beetle and put counters on both that's pretty good oh and we can also fight oh good lord my my how you've grown get on in do the thing Keep up inscription of abundance. Do, do, do. It's been a hell of a draft right here. Let's see. Oh, I was like, we should have waited until Rishkar was on this. No, because then, the, then this would trigger, right? I don't know. Does it matter? Anyway. Got one more round, so. Yeah, when Michael doesn't cook his own food, he spends between 30 and $60 a meal. It's pretty wild. Katie wanted to get sushi the other night, and... I was like, Mike, do you want to get it with her? Or do you just want her to get it by herself? And he's like, you should probably just get it by yourself because I probably shouldn't be spending $60 on sushi. And I'm just like, Jesus Christ. Like, I can't even imagine spending $60 on an individual meal for myself. Like, that's, that's like twice as much as meals that me and Katie get together cost. Do, 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 gonna keep this. <laughs> Michael, we need a new picture of you. We need a new, uh, a new emote for you. Come in the Arctic, you'll spend $60 each meal easy. Is that true? Branching evolution. Michael, where are you? He's downstairs doing work. Oh man, where you where you been at my whole life, Riss? Oh, look at these Bob Ross lands. They just pop, man. <laughs> That ain't even much right. I mean, this is a nice curve here. This guy into this guy into Vivian put double counters on him. This guy's dead next turn because this guy should be a 4-5. We make it a 2-3, it doubles the counters, makes it a 4-5. We kill the stupid Ferocidonos. And as a 4-5, they shouldn't really have much they can do at instant speed. Or, or they're mono-red? What if we make it an 8-9? This guy's got Menace, though. Nah, there's no reason to be greedy. Did they also not play anything on that turn? 
Yeah, I mean, I knew this guy was probably dead. Yep, that's pretty good. Oh, also, it was worth noting for last round that Rishkar only puts counters. Uh, he puts one counter on each creature, not, not up to two counters anywhere you want. <sighs> Boy. And this is how the round three has to go, I'm sure. And that's the end. Oh, boy. All right, do we have any life gain in our side, Bizzle? You got that big ass boat to kill things. Hmm. Uh, Kogla's on the board because we just didn't have the room for him, really. Gathar's Crusade seems too cute. I kind of like Big Boat. Oh yeah, big murder boat. Oh yeah. Really, you're gonna be fashionably late, huh? Okay. You're just gonna kill this guy? Let's listen to the big old boat clip. I got a big ass boat coming on down to kill you. I dropped that boat in the water and it went splash. Kill that man. What's that, what's that from? So this is actually the this is the perfect this is like the perfect draw because next turn we can play both of these guys and they both benefit. So if they tap out. Looking good. Double, 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 double. Just play something stupid that I don't care about. No rampaging Ferocidon. I hate you. I really do hate that, man. I mean, we have two four fours. The next time we get to play the boat to kill the Ferocidon, so not the worst. How many times can you draw one drop on turn two? 100% of the time, yeah. It's a true story. Well, they're not attacking with the Frostalot, which is pretty nice. Coming on down to kill you. I mean, I feel like we just attack for four here, right? No. Or by four, I mean eight. We could put a put two counters on this guy, but I think the four damage is better than just making it a six six. So. Yeah, that guy's fine. 
That's a cool dragon. Wish we drew a spell. Coming on down to kill you. Yeah, I'll take a point. Oh no! I guess that's fine. <coughs> Stupid Sarkon. There's nothing we can really do anyway, so. Oh, I like your chicken, bro. Oh boy, how big is that guy? I mean, I have no incentive to not make it humongous, right? What is this one? This is four, five, six, seven. I mean, if they want to go to one here, it's fine. Okay, they get their chicken back, but this guy has trample, so... I don't know how the red deck is going to deal with the 10-11. I think we've got this. God dang, Sky Lizard got caught in the murder boat engine. <laughs> See, that's funny. I put my boat in the water and it went splash. Boo -doo -doo. Ooh, one planes. We got our one drop, but we don't have a way to cast it. Why Mike is working today, that's why he's not here. Yeah, this is a keeper. Probably gonna ship Riss. Scoot Swarm seems good on four. Actually, we can probably get rid of Vivian Reed. I mean, I love Vivian Reed, but... Mercy boy. Oh man, they played Spike Field Hazard and we played a wrist on turn one. That's perfect. Actually, if you want to get rid of that, like that's just fine. Oh boy, I feel like Tristani is going to be a pretty solid, uh, solid card this game. We want to hit a land. If we hit a land, our whole hand is open. Well, we didn't hit a land. We hit a Basri's Lieutenant, though. Watson, this is my little bud. Oh, careful, careful, I got you. Where are you going? What are you doing? You're being real wiggly right now. You wanna get down? Okay, you wanna sit there? Okay. What are you looking for? I'm gonna move the keyboard so you can actually help me, you know, maybe concede or something. Watson, what are you doing? I'm gonna turn the gamma up just a little bit. You can probably see him a little better if I do. Or the brightness. Oh, 
It's almost too bright. So we get two two twos here. Put you down, Chief. Say goodbye to everybody. Oh, I got you. I got you. You're okay. You don't like being. Oh, good. An ember cleave. That's good. Oh, good. A spell I can't cast because we haven't hit a fourth land in six turns. Oh, thanks for watching, guys. Always appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to follow or subscribe on Twitch if you want to support the channel. It's a great way to help someone like myself who lives off of streaming and content creation. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's just, it's how I survive, guys. So, so be sure to consider subscribing on Twitch if you get the chance or have the opportunity. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.